All right, guys, so I'm finally getting around to putting a gutter on this carport roof here. Um, just in time to have missed about, I don't know, seven inches of rain this monsoon season already, so. <laughs> but that's all right. Um, I'm gonna have to break this up into two parts. Um, so today we're gonna cover the prep work, which is basically first I had to correct a mistake that I had made on the install of the metal roofing panels on the carport. And then we'll talk about kind of how to lay out the gutters to make sure they're set up right. If you can, check back in a bit for uh, part two where I'll actually show me putting these up and finish off with some PVC from the downspout area to collect to our rainwater tanks. So let's get into it. Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I made a little mistake when I did the uh, metal roof on the carport. I did a better job on the uh, shed, and maybe I'll show you a shot of that edge. But uh, I just got ahead of myself on the, on the carport here and wasn't thinking. And if you can tell already, basically, I don't have the, the metal, sorry, the metal isn't hanging over much of the edge of the, the roof. Or, the, you know the wood structure so you want that to hang over maybe maybe a good inch inch and a half something like that so the idea is you know there's gonna be like a five inch wide gutter here and you want to kind of get out to that gutter so that the water can fall down to that gutter right now it might just kind of dribble down this wood here so uh it's too late to really fix that the idea is when i put these when i put these panels in i should have kind of kicked them down this way a little bit i mean there's a cover a piece like kind of a trim piece up at the top anyway might be hard to make it out up there, but but uh, there's a trim piece up there that'll cover it, so it wouldn't have to be right up against the edge, which unfortunately is probably what I did. I probably just slid it right up against the edge there on the front, which left no overhang over here. I should have kicked it down an inch or so, let these hang over a little bit. Again, I think I did it right on the shed, but uh, but I missed it here, so I've got to make a fix. It's unfortunately not ideal, but you know, it'll. I think it'll work. Uh, what I've got is I've got over here. We've got, there's a couple different ways I suppose to go about this, but uh, this one, I was trying to find something fairly cheap and easy. So what I did was I got a roll, a roll of metal flashing here. It's 50 feet long, it's four inches wide. And what I'm gonna do is basically just roll that out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo the last screws on each of these panels. I'm gonna undo those screws I've already kind of started right there. Um, and just kind of lift these panels up enough to slide that piece of flashing in there and slide it under those those screw holes sorry where those screws are slide it under there and let it hang out as much as i would like and then just screw those screws right back down in, in the same spot so i should be able to use the same screws same holes i'm just gonna lift up slide that flashing in and then screw it back down so i'm gonna extend this out a little bit so that flashing of course doesn't follow the, the contours of this roof and again it's not ideal it's not perfect but i think it'll do the job as water runs off of here it'll hit that flashing and it'll come out a little bit farther and it'll fall into the gutter and i think it'll be fine um doesn't won't look real pretty at first but then once the gutter's up there you won't even really see it so it shouldn't be too big of a deal uh, i wish i hadn't done it but i did so gotta fix it now all right, guys, I'm going to try and uh, undo all these screws along this edge here. Is that the right edge? Yeah. To, uh, to allow me to fit that uh, flashing underneath. Let's try and run those all out. Okay, so now that I've got all those screws removed, got a little tricky on the end because I had to actually remove this trim piece so I could move it out of the way. The idea now is to slide this flashing up in underneath there and I'm gonna clamp it in place. And then the idea is once it's in place at the overhang that I want, about an inch, inch and a half, um, I'm just gonna put all those screws right back where they were. That's the idea. Let's give it a try. Okay, guys. Trying to show you putting this uh, flashing on. Of course, the wind started to blow a little bit. It's tough, and it's and it's hard to get it in there. I'm trying to clamp it as I go a little bit, but of course, it doesn't want to go in 
until you get all the way to the end, it won't want to actually slide in because it keeps running into the end. So it's a little tough, but I'm working on it. Let's take a look. Okay, so now I've got the flashing roughly in place. Now I want to make sure I get it set kind of at the overhang that I want. Think about an inch and an inch and a half, an inch to an inch and a half. I'm going to put a piece of gutter up there real quick just to see kind of where I want it to fall in. It doesn't have to be exact. I just wanted to get it into that gutter without kind of maybe running down the wood at the end of the carport. So anywhere from an inch and an inch and a half, I think will be fine. Let's go ahead and set it up. So now I'm just going to screw everything back in all the way down. I'll keep checking that inch and a half as I go and try and keep it smooth because it's kind of buckled up, kind of being shoved under there. So I'll just kind of pull it as I go, pull it smooth and keep it an inch and a half out. And that should let the water fall right into the gutter. Okay guys, so hopefully that'll do the trick. Hopefully you can tell what I did there. I'm having a hard time seeing right now. Turn it a couple different angles. That's my flashing that's sticking out about an inch and a half. I can get you the best view here. So, um, so naturally my phone overheated right on cue there, <laughs> but uh, here we are back. Um, I think I've got it. I've got this piece of flashing sticking out about an inch and a half from the wood and almost that much past the, the original metal roof because I barely had it hanging over at all. So in a perfect world, of course, I would have done that right the first time. But given the circumstances that we had, I think this is a reasonable solution. The water should fall from the, from the metal roof onto the flashing and into the gutter. So I think it's time to put these gutters up now. Uh, let's take a look. Let's just take a walk along here. I think I got it pretty even. Hopefully you can see it pretty decent here. Hopefully this isn't making anybody sick. I can barely see my phone because I got the sun in my back here, but that is what we've got the whole way down here. It's of course not real pretty from the bottom, but the cover, the gutter should cover it up. So it shouldn't really be an issue. And there's the end of it. So that should, I think we should be ready to put our gutters on now. So this one, I. I can tell it's a rattlesnake because I see the rattle. That's a that looks like a baby. It's small. Are we gonna <laughs> Are we gonna walk past or what are we gonna do? Uh, we can go up that way first if you want. Oh my! Can I get close? I know I shouldn't get too close, but how many feet away would you say? You can get right up next to it. If that. <laughs> You can pet it. If it moves, I will probably freak. Yeah, that it has a little rattle, so. Okay, guys, I want to go over a couple steps to hanging our gutters. You can see the gutters on the ground there. I'll show you a close up here in a minute, but a couple steps to getting this right. Um, uh, common knowledge or common uh, consensus is that uh, gutters should slope. I've seen anywhere from uh, a quarter inch to a half an inch per 10 feet. Um, first mistake I made was I treated it kind of like plumbing, thinking it should drop an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch per foot. Uh, it does not need to be anywhere near that. And that makes a lot of sense because if you have a pretty decent run, which I have about 33 feet here, um, you'd be dropping a few inches and, and your gutter would be well below your roof. So that's a problem for the water dropping in of winds blowing and things. So that didn't make a whole lot of sense. So I looked it up and it turns out, yeah, it's, it's a quarter inch to a half inch per 10 feet. So these are 10 foot gutter sections. I'm choosing to drop a quarter of an inch per 10 feet. 
So the way we do that is the first step is to find a level line across, basically starting at where, so I'm going to be sloping down that direction. My, my uh, downspout is going to be on that corner. So I'm going to be starting my gutter right here. So you pick a spot where you're basically going to install your first piece. And that's where I'm going to put my first uh, connector. So you start there and you run a string line and you want it to be level. And it just so happens that because I made my roof nice and level, um, if I attach the string line at pretty much the same height on the other end, you know, in relation to that board there, um, I get, now it sags a little bit in the middle, a tiny bit because I can't pull it tight enough, but uh, hopefully you can see this. Uh, let's see if I can. Uh, that is pretty darn level, I believe. So, so that's our starting point. So now what we're going to do is over the course of our 33 feet, you know, over 30 feet, so I said a quarter of an inch per 10 feet, right? So over 30 feet, it would drop three quarters of an inch. So mine's a little more than 30 feet, and I'm going to err on the side of just slightly more slope as opposed to slightly less slope, because less slope would mean that it could, the water could kind of get hung up in there and just sit. So I'm going to err on the side of just slightly more. So instead of going down three quarters of an inch and then some fraction a little bit more than that for the last couple of feet, I'm just going to make it an even inch. So I'm going to drop it an inch over 33 feet from there to there. So the way I do that is now that I have my level line, I'm going to take this end and I'm going to drop it down one inch. Um, and that'll be, then I can pull a, a chalk line from here to there, snap it, and it'll hit all those, all those uh, rafters where exactly where I want to attach my connector. So my connectors will have that, that slope down that I want that will eventually end up one inch lower over here than over here. And that should be enough to let the water move. So let's try and do that. Just a quick look at these gutters and the way they work. They are all gutters. So, but uh, I have some on some other buildings and they've stood up for a little while, so I'm going to give these a try. Um, they're got, they've got a shape to them. I believe these are called like a K style. I'm not sure why it's K, but they've got that, that shape to them, right? And these happen to be, I believe, five inches wide, kind of at that top opening, I think is the number. Um, so they got that shape to them. And these hangers, these are the, the hangers, the connection. So they've got kind of these little, these little spots in them. Uh, right there, there, that little hook area and that little hook area, those things slide in to the front and back of this thing. So basically we take this piece and we get it to, let's see if I can, if I can do this, maybe I can come around here. So let's see if I can see. So you see how I'm taking this and get that little hook to go into that groove. And on the other side, this hook goes into this groove, and then it's hard to do with one hand, but then it slides on, and it just slides to wherever you need it. And it's got a little, you put a screw right through there, and that's how it attaches to the wood on the back. So that's, that's how they hold. So I'm going to have one at every rafter, every two feet apart. So, so that's, so I'm going to need three full 10 footers, and then just a little extra piece on the end, and I'll have a, and I'll have a, uh, kind of a, a downspout deal, but my downspout will go pretty much right into PVC because from this point, I'm actually going to do PVC down this edge till I'm about across from this lid on this collection tank. And I'm gonna, so I'm going to, I'm going to come out of the gutter here, 90 into PVC, go that way, 90 that way, out to here and drop in to the lid of that tank. So. All right, so it might be tough to see, but I've got my string line there, my sloped now, sloped down an inch over this whole run. My sloped string line is right there. It'd be a little tough to see, and it was hard to snap that string line on the end of just these rafters, so I actually kind of cheated and went along and I kind of drew where that string line is. I kind of manually did it with a pencil. So I've made a mark on all these rafters, the end of these rafters, where the the, uh, the hanger should be installed. So over the course of this thing, they drop about an inch. So this one is about an inch lower. 
than that one now at that end. So this one will be a little unique because there's actually going to be a downspout piece right here. So this one, this, there will be a little section of gutter kind of right here between the downspout and the end cap. But all the way down to this one, they'll just be running down this way. And then it'll get a little different when I put the downspout in here. But, uh, but that's my line. Um, I'll actually kind of have, kind of like I've got them set up here, where I've got the hangers already in, already kind of inserted into the gutter. I'll just put them up like that. So I want to wait to put those up until I'm ready for them to actually catch rain, because I mean, it could rain any night basically now. So uh, if I put them up right now and they start to catch rain, uh, they'll, they'll drop that water basically in one spot. So before, so I don't want to put them up really until I'm ready to actually also do the PVC right here. So I'm gonna work on that now. Well, I had said I didn't want to put the gutters up yet because obviously once I put them up there, any rain that falls will get collected into that gutter and come down to this end and kind of drop in one spot once I put up my on my downspout connection, which is going to go right down in here. But uh, I think I'm going to have to put them up anyway because I won't know really where my PVC is going to start until I've got this in place. I really have to have this in place to know how high my PVC is going to be because I need the appropriate drop, the appropriate slope going this way and then out to the tank as well. So I can't really get any of that right until this is positioned where it's really going to be. So I've got to, I've got to put this in place. So I guess I'm just going to have to do it and either hope it doesn't rain before I finish up the PVC or if it does rain that I can collect it in something or at least minimize the impact on the ground here if it, if it hits. So let's give these, uh, let's give these gutters a try and putting them up. Okay, so that was the not so fun part. So check back soon for part two where uh, we'll actually install these gutters along with the PVC piping that will transport the water from these gutters into our uh, rainwater tanks. See you next time. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing or sharing with a friend. And click the bell notification so you never miss any of our videos. We really appreciate every view and comment. And if you're looking for other ways to support us, please check out the links in the description box. See, See you in the, the next, next video! video. <laughs>